Hi everyone, Fatma here from Addictive Tips and I'm going to show you how you can jump to a time in a video in VLC Player. I'm also going to show you a neat little trick that you can use to always skip a certain amount of time in a video when you play it and to automatically stop a video after it's played for a certain amount of time. First, let's see how you can jump to a particular time in a video. Open VLC Player and then select the video that you want to play in it. Once the video has been added and it's playing, you want to go to the playback menu and select jump to specific time from the menu. It's going to open this window that you see and in this window you can enter the time that you want to jump to. Click OK and VLC player will jump to that time. That was pretty easy to do but let's see how you can open and close videos at a particular time. We're going to do this with VLC player desktop shortcuts. If you don't already have a VLC player desktop shortcut, I'm going to show you how you can create that first. The quickest way to create it is to open the start menu, go to the apps list, right click VLC player in the list and select more, open file location. Now in this file explorer window that opens, you can see that there's this shortcut for VLC player. Right click it and from the context menu, select send to desktop create shortcut. Now return to the desktop and right click the shortcut. From the context menu, you want to select properties and the properties window opens to the shortcut tab by default. On this tab, there's this target field that we're going to edit. If you want VLC player to always skip a certain amount of time when it opens a video, you need to enter the switch that you see on your screen. You have to edit it to your own needs, of course. Make sure there's a space between the path and these two dashes that start the switch off and replace time in seconds with the time in the video that you want to start the video at in seconds. For example, I've got this video and I want it to start after 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter 600 because that's 10 multiplied by 60. And let me show you this video when I drag and drop it onto this shortcut or if I open VLC player with this shortcut and then I select the video to play, it's automatically going to skip the first 10 minutes. If you want VLC player to stop playing after a certain amount of time, what you have to do is enter this other switch that you see on your screen. Again, you need to replace time in seconds with the amount of time that you want the video to play through. The same deal uh, added at the end of the target field. Make sure there's a space between the path and the switch. Click apply and OK. Drag and drop a video onto the player to start playing it or open VLC player with this shortcut and then select the video that you want to play. At any given time, you can only use one switch with the shortcut. So if you find both these switches useful, what you can do is you can create a separate shortcut for each one. Create a VLC player shortcut with the start time switch and then create a second one that has the stop time switch. If you want to run VLC player without any of these switches, you can create another shortcut that doesn't have any switch applied to it or you can pin VLC player to the start menu and click the tile in the start menu to run it. I'll see you later with more tips and tricks for Windows 10.